Alright, welcome back to another video guys. Now, Unity 4 is out, it's been out for a couple of weeks now, and you might be wondering, is it worth upgrading if you've got Unity 3 Pro? Um, and straight away I can tell you, in my opinion, it depends. I mean, if you want to keep up to date with the latest technologies and, and uh, you know, develop AAA desktop titles, uh, you might want to consider it, but the the bad news is if you're an indie developer, if you work by yourself, it's seven hundred and fifty dollars to upgrade. Just to upgrade, guys, it's like fifty percent of the full price, uh, which is one thousand five hundred dollars. So, in my case, I want to teach you guys the latest interface and the latest tools and stuff. But in my uh, situation, I would probably upgrade when my next commercial game is ready to be tested. So I'd buy Unity 4 and, and add the improvements from the Unity 4 uh, workflow to my game before I release it. But in my case, if I'm teaching you guys YouTube videos and not getting that much revenue, I'll be honest, I don't get much revenue from my channel, I just do it purely for the educational purposes, then it's not that much, it's not worth upgrading to Unity 4 in my opinion. I mean, I'll be, do, I'll be adding more 3D models, I'll be scripting and add, doing the save game, the load game and menus and stuff. And these things you can do just as well in Unity 3 as in Unity 4, alright? So I know we've animated using keyframe animation in Maya. We could have done that with the new animation thing in Unity 4. But I mean, in a very simple bone structure like an arm, you you know, you, your, your workflow won't speed up very much. I mean, um, this is for, this is for like uh, complex bone structures for humans and animals and stuff. So really solid good update with the animation I'm glad Unity's branched into this might save you a good few hours uh, in your workflow when designing your games DirectX 11 yeah that's a good upgrade more for mobile games tweaks and upgrades and you'll notice guys uh, most of these things are tweaks and updates I mean nothing there's nothing revolutionary nothing will jeopardize you from using Unity 3 there's nothing revolutionary that will you know, make your games sink to the bottom of the uh, charts because Unity 4 has got some magical new thing. That's not the case. It's mostly upgrades, speeds up your workflow a little bit. I mean, right at the bottom here, it's got some nice stuff like quickly add components. You know, simple things like changing your cursor. I mean, uh, it takes a few lines of code if you want to do this. I think this new API will be a lot nicer. And, uh, most of it's upgrades guys I mean if you want to export to flash I'll do that but we all know that flash is uh, decreasing in popularity and uh, maybe won't have its place in the future as more and more people move to tablets and smartphones so again not that not that um, important in my opinion again with Linux again not that important a very very small market <laughs> okay compared to the OS 10 and Windows let's face it guys um, but yeah, profiling, that's a really good update, a more enhanced profiler, so that will help you out of your mobile games, really important stuff. You really want to push your mobile games to the limit, but at the same time you don't want to, don't want it to lag or freeze in the, on the mobile phone, so the profiler is a really good way to optimise every single aspect of your game, and Unity 4 makes it better, so might be worth upgrading. Um, and they've done some more things with mobile like light maps and shadows and stuff nothing too important but uh, nice tweaks overall nice tweaks is it worth seven hundred and fifty dollars to upgrade now maybe not I'd wait until after Christmas until they they might have some bugs they need to fix they might add some new little things onto the new features maybe so and if you want to spend your Christmas money on something you've got something to do spend it on Unity Pro Unity 4 so I'm in a bit of a predicament now guys because uh, I want to teach the latest the latest Unity version but I'm now in Unity 3 maybe it was a big mistake to start my YouTube channel a couple of months before Unity 4 comes out but you know what you can do everything uh, well not everything because of the new features but uh, most of the things you can do in Unity 3 you can do in Unity 4 all the scripting you can do in Unity 3 so um, I mean, I don't think you're missing out on much. I think it's just mostly tweaks and okay, they've got a few more scripting things like the API for the cursor, but you know what? It won't hurt your games. So that's my take on it, guys. Um, I'll be updating after Christmas and then I'll begin pumping out videos for Unity 4. But in the meantime, I'll finish this off and get on to some new projects. So I hope this helped you out, guys. Um, if you've got Unity Pro and spent and you've spent one and a half grand like me buying Unity Pro. 
and Unity 3, then Unity 4, maybe not that important at the moment for you. So um, that's my take on it anyway. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.